welcome back everyone, hope you're all doing well. Following on from last week's video, I'm back at my local pub. If you haven't seen last week's video, I'm basically designing a tropical garden for one of my local pubs and some of the plants have arrived, actually most of the plants are here now. So today I'm going to be kind of positioning them where I want them and then the gardener is going to be coming along tomorrow and planting them. So we've got a beautiful yucca rostrata. So I got most of the palms from the palm tree company online and then the dahlias, cannas, uh, rhododendrons, I um, can't even remember what else I bought, um, bottle brush. I got those from a local garden centre which was on last week's video. Um, so yeah, I've got a selection of palms, a yucca, got some cannas, the bottle brush are in the red colour and then we've got the agapanthus, these stunning hot pink rhododendrons. I wouldn't mind one of these in my garden actually, but I've kind of run out of room. And then we've got a selection of dahlias, which are in flower. And then down the side of the pub, we've got a waggy palm and some more dwarf fan palms, which I'll show you in a second. So as I mentioned in last week's video, we're going to concentrate on filling um, the front sections of the garden, this part here, and then this section here. So I've already had some bananas put in, which are just getting their first proper leaves of the year. So in a few weeks, these are going to look lovely and they'll have a couple of leaves. So I'll just stand back and show you the garden. It's quite a nice day today. The weather's been very um, up and down, so I need to go and get someone to help move these. Wow, look how big this fan palm is. That is a beast. And then we've got another one here, which has got a lovely trunk. It's flowering at the moment. And then the waggy palm is here. This is going to be the centerpiece of the tropical garden hoping to get some nice solar fairy lights to put around that one. So yes, I need to get these moved and position them where I want them. So I've been trying to position the plants roughly where they're going to be going. This one is going to be going down here on the slope, but I can't really put it there because it'll fall over. Um, so that'll look really nice from the beer garden. So it'll kind of fill out this area here. And then either side of the entrance here we've got a bottle brush and then somewhere over here we're going to put dwarf fan palm, a rhododendron and then I need to get another bottle brush for this corner so that it's um, even because um, we've got one on this corner. The yucca rostrata is going to go here. In the pots we've got the agapanthus there, going to have some dahlias in that one there. And then I've just kind of dotted around the corder lines and the palms. The waggy palm is going to be going in the middle. And then over in this corner, we've got another fan palm in the corner. Uh, corder line, the rhododendron is going to go around there somewhere. More dahlias in a pot there. And then in this border here, I'm going to put most of the cannas, I think. I might put um, a selection of them in there and then possibly might even put some dotted around the corners, perhaps. I'm not quite sure. So basically the garden is coming tomorrow, um, but I'm working, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna kind of liaise with him tomorrow because I kind of need to be here, um, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, and then there's a bottle brush on each corner here. But as you can see, it's quite a large space to fill and ideally it would be amazing to have lots of taller plants like this one. But as I mentioned, they are mega expensive. So I did have a budget to work with. So I kind of got as many um, big plants as I could and then obviously had to fill out the rest with some smaller specimens. And then some of the existing plants just need a little bit of TLC, so I'll give this one a little prune tomorrow. 
So yes, that's how it's all looking so far. I'm no landscape gardener, I'm not a plant expert, I'm just literally a person who lives locally that has a nice tropical garden and they've asked me if I can help them make theirs a bit more tropical. But over time the owner's looking at adding some more tropical plants and obviously it takes a, few, a good few years for these to kind of establish and they're all going to grow and get bigger and over the years it's going to look more tropical and more filled out. Um, but it's um, looking much better already just with a few plants dotted around. So I'm back down on my lunch break. These bamboos are being taken away and then so I've just roughly positioned everything where it needs to go. The big things are in. I did end up swapping a couple of the plants around. I thought this one would look better here to fill out this sloped area and then eventually this banana will form a clump so that will give that enough room there. We've got the yucca going here, the waggy palms in looks really great. We're going to put some solar lights around that and then over in this corner I ended up putting this one here because I felt like this area needed a bit of height so that looks quite nice there in the corner. I'm going to have a cordial line there. Obviously at the moment everything's um, small so it needs to establish um, but that'll look really nice once it grows up uh, a bit taller going to put a rhododendron there in the corner and then in the pots we've just got the dahlias there's already some cannas in that pot there um, the bottle brushes is kind of scattered around and then the um, agapanthus we've got one there and one over there in that pot I'm trying to make use of all the pots and then over in this border I've just kind of scattered the cannas kind of staggered them um, a couple down there in the corner that have blown over in the wind and yeah that's how it's all looking so far obviously we need to keep these central bits kind of open because people are going to be sitting here on tables and chairs and the gardeners also need to be able to access the grass to cut it as well we've also got some tiki torches coming and possibly a few other little bits as well but as I mentioned before it's a work in progress so the pub will be adding to the tropical garden. I was quite limited on what kind of plants I could put here because it is such an exposed area so I've kind of done the best I can. I mean I would have loved to have put some tree ferns in and some Fatsia japonica but they just wouldn't really cope very well with the conditions but I just thought I'd give you a quick update so far and then I'll be back in a few days to film the final result. Thank you. 